Alright, we went over the instructions in the back. I want to clean fair fight. I want you to obey my commands at all times. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Any questions? Touch them up, let's put on the show. Well, I wonder what the over-under is in time for Alana Jones to shoot in and try to take this fight to the ground. That would be the smart move. And Holly Holm looks like a quarter horse at the starting gate. She's ready to, to rock and roll. We are underway. Holly Holm in the black and blue. Alana Jones in the black and pink. Holm in her fourth professional MMA bout. Quick hands. Throws it straight left. She continues to circle. Little jab from Jones. Very wide stance for Holly Holm. Yep, she said she's adjusted that for MMA, lowered her, lowered her level, defend those takedowns a little bit better. She does a good job of it. Straight kick thrown by Holm. Good movement there from Alana Jones. See how she circles to her right while she's jamming to get outside and then throws her left. Those left straights are quick, lightning quick. Thirty-one years old, Holly Holm. No better place to learn MMA than at Jackson's Winkle Johns in Albuquerque. She's been training with Winkle John since she was 16 years old. That's why she calls him Mr. Winkle John. Right. Good counter shot lands from Jones. Yeah, she showed that she has boxing skills against Fallon Fox. She did a good job in that fight. Kick from Jones. Yes. Home lands a kick to the belly. Alana Jones's eyes are wide open. Oh, she yeah. is paying attention. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Great shot there from our crew. Jones did come in a little bit heavy for this fight, but the two agreed that, hey, they wanted to get some ring time here at Legacy. Ron Kruk along with the legend, Pat Militich, ring cage side here for Alana Jones and Holly Holm, Legacy 21. And you check out the red corner, well, speaking of legends, Greg Jackson and Mike Winklejohn. 22, Holly. 10 or 9, 22. Well, Alana Jones has made it halfway through the first. That might surprise some people. And one thing you'll notice about Holly Holmes, she's pulling up short on most of her punches. That one landed. But I think she's wanting to not overcommit. And Jones is saying something's wrong with Holmes' thumb. Pokes uh, to the eye. Yep. Shakes it off and is ready to go. Under two minutes to go. Round number one, Holly Holm and Alana Jones. But like I say, Holly Holm doesn't want to overcommit and open herself up to a takedown. She knows that's where Alana Jones would like to get her. So that's why she's stopping on some of her combos. You can see her pulling up short a little bit. Boxing record, 33 wins, only two defeats, three draws, but only nine KOs, Pat. Yeah, Holly Holmes got her right eye closed right now. It is not open at all. A huge factor. You are right. You don't often hear MMA fighters. You hear it in boxing a lot. When a fighter punches, they'll bark at you. You can hear Holly Holm barking every time she throws punches. Jones landed a little jab there as Holm comes back with a kick. One minute to go. Round number one. Nice combination from Holm. That kickboxing background, she is known for just wearing down her opponents with kicks and low kicks. Eyes wide open, Alana Jones. 30 seconds to go. Oh, solid shot. 
Yeah, Alana, Alana had her hand up, though. She, yep. she caught that. Good defense. And straights get through there quickly. It looks like Alana Jones will survive round number one against the boxer, Holly Holm. High kick from Holm. Alana Jones started fighting back in 2009. She tried out for the Ultimate Fighter. And there's no doubt about it, she is just a tough, tough girl as we check out some of the highlights from round number one. Yeah, she's doing a good job of counterpunching. Looking at her coming over the top of that right hand with her own left lead hook. Really slick, and she did that well against Fallon Fox also. She's got good timing. She fades out of the way. And comes back with her own shots, doing a good job. And that's the one that caught Holly Holm in the eye. She didn't poke her, she hit her. Just caught her with the knuckle of the thumb. Holm gets instruction from Mr. Winkle John and Greg Jackson. Jackson says, hunt her down. Take a look at Milicic's scorecard. Gives round number one to Holm, no surprise. People here in Houston were excited about this fight. Holly Holm continues her MMA journey, taking on Alana Jones. Round number two. Holly really needs to walk her down a lot more. Big stance, she continues to circle. Jones being rather elusive so far. Moving her head well. Yeah. Yeah. Holmes breaking it up with strikes and then kicks. Staying on the outside. Says she loves the perfect body shot and then follow it up with great kicks. She made a living out of doing that. Mike Winklejohn said they've worked a lot more on her looping punches because in boxing they throw a lot of straight punches besides the hook and the uppercuts. But uh, she just threw that overhand left trying to clip her. And it did clip her. Back Jones up a bit. So don't give Jones credit. She's hanging in there right now. Uh, left delivered by home. One thing about Alana, she's not biting too much on all the feints and fakes. She, she is moving and getting out of the way enough, but good distance. Jones, very athletic. She grew up playing basketball and running track. She weighed over 200 pounds when she first started training MMA just to lose the weight. Now she's a professional fighter. Holmes, big high kick. Most of that looked like it was off the hand, but some of it clipped her, I think. It sounded louder than it really was. It didn't do much to hurt Jones. Oh, but that one! to earlier in our fighter meetings. Incredible shot floors Alana Jones. That time she set it up though. She, she was scooting to her right. Threw that lead hand out there and then launched the rear kick. She set it up nicely and clipped Alana Jones perfectly. Unbelievable toughness shown by Jones as she looks over and shakes the hand of Holly Holm. Well, Holm, I think, just got her first highlight reel KO in MMA. Yeah, that was a beautiful knockout. Imagine yourself 
getting smacked with a baseball bat in the face when you're not looking. That's exactly what just happened. Pretty much. Great analogy, and I'll pass on that. Well, let's see that highlight real KO. Yep, nice setup. She saw it. She started circling and then threw that head kick. Clipped her with the foot. It wasn't the shin bone, but it was still enough to put her away. Wanted to make sure she was going to stay down, going in for the kill there. But uh, no celebration out of her. She's been here before. Nasty. And the sound that just echoed through the arena theater here in Houston. And this place erupted. Holly Holm. Get some workout time and some fight time. She goes into the second round and then ends this fight. And it's good to see Alana Jones sitting on the stool, being checked out by the doctors. Hopefully she is okay. And she is one tough fighter. Holly Holm. Born and raised Albuquerque, New Mexico. Says she's in no rush to get to the UFC or, or any place else. She lets Winkle John and Jackson handle those type of things. She just wants to keep fighting. Let's make it official and head back into the legacy ring. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes, 22 seconds in a round number two, your winner by knockout, Holly, the preacher's daughter. 